Okay, so it's called Vedic University, and this is part of the world where we are on. And where are we exactly here? This is the map of Turkey. We are here in the magical city of Istanbul. But Istanbul has two parts, Anatolian part and European part or Europe or Asian part. So we are located, our main campus is located on the Anatolian part of Istanbul. And Istanbul, we can say junction of the cultures. Sorry for that. And it is connected via three bridges and the underwater tunnel. I mean, the two sides. And we like the sceneries in the city and the Anatolian part, the Asian part where we are on, said it's more peaceful, less hectic compared to the European side. And European side is more touristic, okay, but local Istanbul people usually prefer to live uh, in the Anatolian part of the city. And okay, still I see you are smiling. Are you living in a European part? I'm on the European part because I'm controlled by my wife and my wife wants to live on the European side. But I also, like you said, I prefer the Anatolian side. Okay, okay. Which is greener as well. And Gedik University. In order to get to know Gedik University, we need to talk about Gedik Corp. So Gedik Corp is, uh, has, a, has this lady leader, this president, so I intentionally put this photo. I'm really proud of having a female leader president here. And this giant uh, holding giant corporation is managed by a woman and she's our president. And this group has many sections, many parts in it. Uh, it's a prominent company in welding, casting and some other industrial stuff. But it also has the educational part, which we're part of. Uh, we are part of that educational part, let's say. And so we, our story started in 2010 when getting holding, getting corp needed more qualified uh, labor force. So they decided to start some vocational programs. And in 2010, they started the school with five programs in the vocational school. And then soon after that, it became a proper university with many other programs. And now we have around 6,000 students in six faculties. And we have five campuses, almost five. The new one is being built at the moment. And three of our campuses, this one, Cartel Pending and Chandler, uh, are located in the Asian side. And we have a very small campus area on the European part of the city. And but by the end of this year, I think we will be moved, uh, we will have moved to the new campus, the big one, bigger one, the biggest one. And this is a quick scenery of the institution. We have six faculties and school of languages and a vocational school and one institute, which means graduate school. And as I said, we have over 6,000 students. And okay. as you see the ratio student Academician ratio is really good. Actually, we have more than 600 uh, academicians because we also work with some part-time uh, academicians, lecturers here. So actually we already hire uh, more academicians here. And four plus one campuses, I mean new one. And something good, even though we are a small size university, I mean, compared to the uh, Turkey, uh, Turkey style, uh, we are a small scale university, but still in the internationalization, we are quite active and we have more than 75 active international partners. And we offer more than 90 degree programs. I mean, the associate degrees and bachelor degrees, master's degrees and PhD, of course. Here you can see a list of faculties and vocational schools we have here. Um, I, maybe I can talk about the School of Foreign Languages and Tamer here. Uh, Tamer sounds a bit interesting. School of Foreign Languages, okay, it's understandable. So it's about language preparation for the students who want to study in the department in English, but Tamer. If you want to study a department in Turkish, obviously you need to learn Turkish. So in the center, 
Tumor is the abbreviation for uh, Turkish Teaching Center. So you can follow Turkish courses uh, up to a year uh, in the center. So then prior to your studies, uh, you can uh, take your level up to C1 in Turkish, and then you can also study in Turkish here. And this is the list of our bachelor undergraduate programs here. And Victory, you were interested in bachelor programs, right? Uh. Okay, here uh, you can see the programs offered in English in bold. Okay, we have international relations, international trade and finance, management information systems, and mechatronics engineering in English. And in mechatronics, we also offer the Turkish program as well. But the other programs offered in, tur in Turkish. But these four programs are offered in English as well. Since your first language, your official language of your country is English, you don't need to any further assessment. You can just uh, get enrolled with your diplomas and transcripts. And master programs. Here uh, you can see the programs offered in English in bold again. And uh, this T and NT stands for thesis, non-thesis. Thesis program means the, it's a proper master's program uh, that lasts two years. And at the end of the program, you are supposed to defend your thesis. And non-thesis program means uh, it lasts like around one year, two academic terms. And you don't need to defend the thesis. You don't need to write nothing, nothing but at the end, you prepare a project and um, but you cannot uh, continue to pursue your PhD degree after a non-thesis program. If you want to go through an academic life, you need to choose the thesis program. And so uh, almost in every program, we offer thesis and non-thesis options. If you are going to pursue a professional career, then you can choose the non-thesis program. But if you want to versus something else in the academy, you can go for the thesis program, maybe it's up to you. And the difference between them, I mean, maybe tuition fees, it's relatively cheap, cheaper. And uh, here we have programs in English, international relations, only thesis program in English, and regional studies in international relations. It's the non-thesis program also. And electrical and electronics engineering, we offer this program both in Turkish and in, in English, and civil engineering also in Turkish and in, in English. So we have two programs here, and engineering management, which is quite popular among international students, we also have that in English. And something quite interesting comes: artificial intelligence. This is a very rare program, interdisciplinary program. It's not really easy to find this program. Mm -hmm. And we offer this program both in English and in Turkish, however you want. We have another niche program here. It is Defense Technologies. <coughs> so this program uh, is offered in Turkish uh, with thesis, but still, if you have uh, in your projection, if you have a possibility of learning Turkish, I would definitely recommend this program as well. And so I talked about the Getty Corp at the beginning. So when you talk about industry and the university together, so you have to think about the research, of course. And for Getty Corp, R&D, research and development is, a, uh, is an important part of their business. So it's important for the university as well, not only for the scientific purposes, but for the industrial purposes as well. So there are a lot of research centers here. Uh, these research centers are not for the students, uh, firstly, but uh, it's beneficial for the students as well because they help our university to you know, make progress in the scientific arena. And the laboratories. Again, we're back to get it for. Uh, in their R&D department, and get it for, has many um, cutting edge technology laboratories. They work in the, these laboratories, but at the university, we use these laboratories, they are laboratories to teach our students. So you can experience real laboratories. You can uh, um, you know, 
do experiments. So I'm not capable of using those terminology, but uh, we, I mean, you can uh, use the laboratories in your departments, uh, which is located, uh, which are located in the corporation. And of course, as a university, we have some libraries, so nothing more needed to talk about the libraries, all the databases and the books and the tables and there's some peaceful environment. <laughs> so we have uh, three different libraries, the central one in the main campus, and we have our vocational school down there and they have different library and we have a special library for the law students as well. And we have to talk about the student life on campus. It's so strange and interesting, but we have a special department to take care of students' social lives. So this sounds interesting, right? And we have more than 20 student clubs. In these student clubs, what they do, they come together, students, and we help them. As the university, we support them financially, emotionally. <laughs> and so we have this department and they guide them to reach their aims in their clubs. Look at the clubs here. We have this cinema, culture, and art club, science and technology club, and industry four zero club, uh, for a club, and even dance club. For myself, uh, I am waiting for the pandemic to end because I want to build my female roving team at the university, and so I feel so lucky because I know that this team will be supported by the university. So when you come to university and you are interested in something, you will definitely find something according to your interests here. Okay, now something different. There is this Gedic art. Uh, at the beginning, as you may remember, I talked about the Gedic group. Gedic art is a part of this Gedic group. And we have this Gedic Philharmonic Orchestra and Gedic performance, and they do something unique to me. And they also support young artists. They can also uh, come from the university uh, to share their performance with the world. And so imagine our university, industry, the corp on one side and the Gedic art on the other side. So we are in between like a bridge. And we do as a Gedic corp, university and art, we come together and we connect these concepts to each other. And this would be more interesting for you. Uh, perks of being supported by a company, by a big corporation. So we offer our students internship and job opportunities at Gedic Corp. And so during their studies, our students can take this opportunity. Can, uh, they can be placed at the company for internship. And okay. after the graduation, they can be hired by the Gedic Corp. Gedic Corp prioritized the Gedic University graduates at the company. International opportunities, my area here. So I'm the director of the international office and I take care of the international opportunities here, I can say. And at the moment, we have uh, over 40 agreements with uh, different countries. This means that you can take part of an exchange program with these uh, universities. And we are also quite active in this Erasmus Plus program. So just to inform you, Erasmus Plus program is sponsored by the European Union, European Commission. And you can take advantage of studying at a European institution for a term or two. And you, are, uh, you receive grants, you are sponsored by the European Commission through us, we give you grants, we give you scholarships mm. to study for a term or two. And so we also send out students uh, via this program for studies and internships. So you will have the chance to, uh, you know, say like three months for internship in Europe. And about international students, if you come to our university, you will be one of our uh, international students groups. So uh, one of our international students. And at the moment, we have more than 400 full-time international students here at the university. But for the upcoming year, our aim is quite high and we want to raise our uh, ratio up to 15%. So I think we're going to, uh, we are going to 
caused uh, more than 600 new international students this year. So next year we will be around a thousand. And talking about the job opportunities and in internship opportunities. Okay, Steve will talk to you about this with you further, but I can give you a hint here. So we are one of the rare universities, right, City? No one cares about international students and playability race. So uh, we try to, you know, uh, find new job positions and internships. And we have Steve and his department uh, focused on this thing. And we have. Uh, uh, corporations, we have local and international corporations for this purpose, and we place you, we try to place you for internship and jobs, working, uh, jobs, uh, job positions to some companies, startups, or NGOs. Like um, for international students, we have a special program to deal with this. And okay, closure, tuition fees. So uh, now, I don't want to pronounce, but you're uh, looking at the tuition fees. And if you have further questions, uh, I can answer them about the tuition fees. But uh, if your academic level is over 70%, you might be offered scholarship. I don't know, maybe from 10 to 30% discount scholarship. And when you apply, we will evaluate your file and we will get back to you with an offer letter. And on that offer letter, you will see if you are offered a scholarship based on your transcript. And so this was end of my presentation. And we'll take over now, I think. <laughs> really, really sorry with the mix of, you know, the internet and everything. Okay, well, yeah, I have right now. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Mr. Deji. Good afternoon. Yeah, so thanks for making our time to. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. All right. Thanks for coming out and, and uh, what's going on, honoring our invite for this webinar. We really appreciate you all. So you can hear um, those points Guzlam have said so far. You know, the school is just so friendly. From the first time we got in touch with them from our side, from Keftex Travels, they've been, been so supportive. When we tell them to. Do this for us, you know. They've He's done so, 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 so supportive. They are just the best team you can just dream to work with. So, if, if you, if anyone have any question, you can, uh, what's called, just signify by raising up your hand. <laughs> well, maybe I'll do my, yes, maybe I'll no. do my quick presentation. Yeah, uh, Steve also has Steve is our yes, career counselor. You weren't here at, at that moment, and uh, Steve has a, a little presentation. City, we also muted you. <laughs> All right, so now I'm good. All right, everybody. So look, really quickly, um, I have a quick presentation, just why to choose us. You know, Goosem covered most of these things. So we provide you with um, all of these things, et cetera. But what is really the getic difference? What is the difference? Why should you choose us? Well, we make it our mission. It's our almost an obsession to assist our international students with their careers after they graduate. So basically, this is the type of result that you'll have. Now that I'm here at Gedik University, I will work very closely with you to help you with your careers. Whether you want to stay in Turkey, go back to Nigeria, or go to a third or fourth country. So this is something that I can work very closely with you. Some of the services that I offer you, soft skills trainings, one-on-one -on -one career coaching, information about companies willing to hire, non-Turkish citizens, uh, sector and function panels, and Turkish lessons as well. I'm happy to give. I'm happy to help you guys with your Turkish. These are just some of the companies that are actively recruiting our international students because they want students with language skills, English, Arabic, French, German, Portuguese, Spanish. So I can help you to get introduced to these companies. So if you have any questions, you can call me, you can email me, follow me on these um, links, and I'm gonna post these up 
in the chat so that you can contact me. Okay, so there's my telephone number, my email, our LinkedIn careers page, our Instagram career page. So if you have any questions, you could write to me, you can call me uh, even before you start. Thank you, Steve. Maybe I can also write our Instagram. Maybe they want to follow us on Instagram. Sure. Follow us, guys. Follow us. Okay, guys. Now it's your turn. Now we can answer your questions. How come it's only guys? No female students coming from Nigeria? Nice um, question. I have a question. Go on. I have a friend, a, 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 she's a single mother. She has just one daughter. We finished from the university the same year. So I'll, be, I'll be telling her about Turkey to come and study. Is it possible for her to come with a child? Uh, I think yes, because it's dependent, yeah? The baby is just about one year old or maybe one year plus. It's not up to two mm -hmm. years. Can mm -hmm. she come? Um, she, I cannot talk on behalf of the embassy. But it okay. seems possible to me personally. Okay. But you know, this Abuja embassy is not quite um, predictable how they decide. Okay. So, okay. but okay. when I okay. look from here, it, it it seems possible to me because they're single okay. mother and a child. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Makes sense. I think by maybe by the next meeting, I will I will invite her to the Zoom meeting so she can join. Probably ask her own question herself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I will, I will. Okay, and uh, only that, there is this thing. So okay. about your, this single mom, uh, your friend. So if okay. she cannot get the visa, okay, uh, I think will talk to you about the procedures, but we get the payment, okay? Okay. And then, okay. and then we send you the acceptance letter, then you apply to the visa. And if you cannot get the visa, we refund the prepayment, okay? Okay, so, okay. Trying wouldn't be risky for your friend. Okay. I was going to say I mean, the same thing. Why not try? Yeah. But why are they getting visa denied at the embassy? Why? What? Can't you fix that one too? Yes, I, I already knows I was dealing with that. I tried to ask that question, but I didn't get very satisfying answers. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, you know, foreign affairs. I mean, because of the pandemic, that's why people are not getting visa. Sorry again? Is it because of the pandemic, the COVID-19, maybe that's that you're getting visa at the embassy? Yeah. COVID-19, maybe because of the COVID-19, that is why they are getting visa denied. I didn't get your, you said, in case they are being denied, why would they be denied visa for education? Well, you, you were, understand? someone was denied after being enrolled in a program and being accepted in an academic program? That happens. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Unfortunately, that happens. So it's like good. It. Okay, I'll talk to Ayodeji. I think he can explain better to me. Okay. I'll talk to Ayodeji. So maybe by fall this year, I should start preparing to come over to go and come and further my education in Gedik. Hopefully, I won't get denied at the embassy. Hopefully. Hopefully, I won't get denied at the embassy. We will be happy to see you here. Happy to have you here. Based on what I'm saying, I have your attention. Getting university is the place for me to be. I'm even going to tell my friends that I finished from university together. That let's give it a shot. Just two years programs. If I thought you want to continue our career in education, can do the program with tenses. Am I right? Uh, sorry, I couldn't catch that. I didn't hear the last if question thought, either. If I thought I want to pursue my career in education, I'll do the program with tenses. And if not in education, with one with no tenses, that's what you said in your presentation. Like, are you asking about yeah. education programs? Yes, yes. No, about your presentation, the one you did just now, you said for people that want to pursue their career in education, they have to do the program with tenses. Am I correct? Let's go back to the presentation. Oh, yeah, let's, let's go, go back, back to there. the presentation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go back to the presentation. Okay. Education programs. Not okay. education program. She was saying something about 
tenses program and um, program with no tenses? Ah, thesis, non thesis programs here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. 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 That's what I'm trying to refer to. Thesis program and non thesis program. If I want to further my medication, if I want to do a PhD, I have to do the program. Yeah, you have to do a thesis then. It has yes. to be yes. thesis, yes. right? So, yes. yes, that's what I'm, that's what I'm referring to. And I have some of my friends that want, back here in Nigeria, PhD can take up to five, six years sometimes. And I was in the university, there was one of my lecturers that spent five years just to, just to have a PhD. Five years. Yes. It's and, often uh, the case. What do you say? It's often the case, often exactly. a PhD five years. Yeah, it's normal to have to write your dissertation. Yes, and I could remember vividly, I think when I was in my first year, one of our lecturers went to South Africa for the PhD program and he spent just three years there. So when I was in my 400 level, he came back to Nigeria and already a doctor. So yeah, I'm but trying to tell my- Writing the dissertation. Exactly, so I'll tell my friends that still want to go into lecturing in the future that let's go to overseas, get it done faster, come back to Nigeria and establish yourself. Have you? By the next meeting by God's grace, Two or three of my friends will join the Zoom meeting. Okay. That's always yeah. an option. I mean, particularly if you take a thesis uh, exactly. course, you can move on to a PhD from there. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. Thesis program, do PhD, I know, I know. Thank you, Stephen, thank you very much. Sure, prefer the thesis, prefer a thesis program. Exactly. So by four, by God's grace, I hope full. I hope that I will get a visa denial. I should be in Turkey by then doing my, my master program by four. Cool. We hope to see you here, man. Okay. okay um, I have something to say, Mr. Seven. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make um, the payment of the 1,000 US dollars that was asked to make within seven days. So, after making the payment, I'll be so happy if you guys should send the payment slips and um, the acceptance letter to the embassy to start processing my visa. Yes, yes, sure, sure. We, we always do that. Uh, you just need to inform us when you get the appointment from the embassy, okay? Just email us or ask Ayodeji to email us that I have appointment on la 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 la, okay? And then just the day before your appointment, we sent an email containing your acceptance letter to the embassy. Because if we send it too soon, they'll forget it. Okay? Okay. So when you get the appointment, let us know. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna make the payments. I'm gonna make the payment this week. Okay. Cool. Any other questions? What up? Um, he disappeared. No, exactly. Actually, I'm kind of a person that likes to write my question out before being asked. Or oh, based on this meeting, is uh, not really prepared for the questions to come. But by God's grace, by next meeting, I'm going to have a lot of questions to ask because I love to know things into details. I have to go. Into, I love to get things into details, details, details. Yeah, you can research a little bit and email us. Tony. Yeah, sure. I type the email here. Okay. We have the Instagram account here, but you can also email us. Okay. okay. With all my, so all my email questions. address. Okay. 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 So, when when is our next meeting? Next meeting, whenever you want. Okay. I don't think we're going to do another meeting like this, right? But if you want a one-on-one -on -one meeting about careers, you can contact me. If it's about the other uh, bureaucratic things in the programs, you can contact Gusum and Metane. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You have our contacts. You have our emails. I even gave you my phone number. Okay. Call me when you're lonely, Victor. <laughs> Okay, so, okay, Mr. Morris. I'm call me Steve. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Emails and phone calls. Okay, we, I will pass you here. I will. Okay, see you soon. Okay. Don't be late. Okay. okay.
See you soon, guys. All right. Hope to see you all. All right, thanks for your time. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Metanet, I. All right, all right. Nice to meet thanks you all. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Right. Bye bye.